A battle for the beach in Port Aransas. Two months ago, we told you about Cinnamon Shore, a popular and expanding beach community in Port Aransas, encouraging its property owners to vote in the May City election. But their request may have violated state law. Six Investigates, Reina Rodriguez looks into what Cinnamon Shore and its owners are fighting so hard against. Reina. That's right, Katia. The Attorney General is investigating the team at Cinnamon Shore for sending an email. The email asks at least one person per home at Cinnamon Shore to register to vote in Port Aransas for candidates who opposed a new beach access road. The problem, almost all of the owners at Cinnamon Shore don't actually live there full time. I beg you, please do not put this in my backyard. In October, several Cinnamon Shore owners spoke against the plan to build a new beach access road next to their community, highlighting increased traffic, decreased property values and safety concerns. But the city says the road is about safety and getting emergency vehicles to the beach quicker. I'm standing at mile marker 30. The city says 40% of EMS calls come from south of here, which is a direction of Cinnamon Shore. This is an issue about getting, saving people's lives and getting our EMS team to the people who need it faster and quicker. In November, the general manager for the multi-million dollar luxury home community went before council offering another solution, allowing EMS access to the walkway Cinnamon Shore uses to access the beach. We're working with them to get that like certification letter to ensure that in the future EMS can use our dune walkovers to access the beach and will provide necessary easements. City council decided to move forward with plans for the access road anyway. In February, Cinnamon Shore sent an email to owners asking them to register for the upcoming May 7th Port Aransas election and asks homeowners to vote for candidates who support, quote, responsible development plans of Cinnamon Shore. It listed the access road as one of the main issues. And for somebody to think because they own a business or um, short term rental as a business that gives them the right to convince people to change our election, I mean, is kind of it's just not right. It's also potentially illegal. Nueces County tax records show only two of the 526 owners at Cinnamon Shore have a homestead exemption, meaning it's their primary residence. In a letter to the Attorney General, Secretary of State John Scott said the Cinnamon Shore email warranted an investigation because state election code prohibits anyone from trying to get people to vote under false pretenses. It's just wrong all the way around. You know, we should have fair elections. If you live here, you vote here. Uh, if you don't, you don't. Cinnamon Shore declined our request to speak on camera, but back in March, they said it was their intention to encourage homestead residents to vote. The attorney general's office opened their investigation 10 days after we first reported on this story. We continue to monitor the AG's progress and we'll tell you what they found when it's completed. For Six Investigates, Reina Rodriguez.